It's day two of practice, and Rich Zamini and Makai Becton are already going at it. Hey, what's going on? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today we are doing Makai Becton and Rich Zamini going at it once again. Before we get started today, I wanted to mention where you can follow me. Matt O'Leary NY, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere you want. Find me, Matt O'Leary NY. You can also subscribe, give a rating, re review, all that good stuff to the Just Jets podcast. I have new episodes every Monday. Then during the season, we switch to Wednesdays and Exit 16 West, plus other bonus Jets content on Patreon. We have a new episode coming out later tonight. So it was the second day of practice and a hot day in uh, New Jersey where the New York Jets practice. And Makai Becton was at times resting. There, there are portions where they come through and, you know, obviously he was working and uh, it was a mix of both, you know, taking a knee and going in and mixing in the work. And Rich Samini had this to say. He says, Makai Becton has been laboring through the early portion of the Jets practice, offensive line drills, took a knee off to the side. Now, Makai Becton responds back and says, make sure you say the part where I still grinded through practice, you weirdo. Love the response, but the issue that, number one, I've always had with certain members of the beat is that they give you things but don't give you the full context and make things seem worse than what they actually are. Point blank, this one from Rich Samini. This is fresh off the one where he got it wrong yesterday when he the quote was like, uh, Robert Salas said that Makai Becton's left tackle days aren't over, but he's the right tackle now. And then Rich Samini comes out and was like, uh, we have the head coach Robert Salas say that his left tackle days are over for Makai Becton. Like, it's just, what are we doing here, guys? Here's a perfect example from Zach Rosenblatt, who is the new Jets beat reporter for The Athletic. He says Makai Becton has had to take a breather a couple times already today, looking good physically, but still working on his stamina. Is it that hard to add the little extra context that is needed to tell the entire story here? What are we doing, guys? And Robert Sala's not even concerned. You just know people are going to blow this story out of proportion. But Robert Sala said it's been a year since he's played. It was a little sticky today. He's a big man. I mean, it's it's July. It's mid or end of July right now. It's his second practice. Hasn't played in a year. Yeah, it's going to take him a little bit to get back into playing shape. In terms of like the, the actual stamina of the reps and reps and reps, this isn't uncommon. But yet you just know what some of these people are trying to pump up these stories. Makai's out of shape. He's fat. He's 400 pounds. He's never going to play. He's going to get hurt. And they keep pumping it up and pumping it up when it's stupid. It's not what's actually happening. It's just a little uh, frustrating, but I'm glad Makai kind of stood up for himself. I'm, I'm good with that. Supposedly, it was a tougher day for the offense today than it was yesterday. Um, it, again, when you have guys in just helmets and no pads, I think the defense is going to have a little bit of an easier time uh, than the offensive line. The offensive line, once the pads go on, should be able to take a step back. But like at the same time, Let's look at this logically again for a second here. Do you want one side of the football being dominant every single day? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a little up and down. Some days the offense will look good, for instance, yesterday. Sometimes the defense will look good, for instance, today. If it's just one thing, you know, dominating over and over and over again, then you're in bad shape. Remember, in 2020, it was the defense dominating every single practice. It's felt like the defense was, it was always the defenses look good. The defense looks good. And then the Jets offense came out and was atrocious and, we, and they went two and 14. Um, so like, and there were other factors in that, but more of the stories, let's not get too crazy here. Um, and now I th hopefully you understand the frustration that some of us have with uh, certain members of the beat. I think that's, that's fair to say because, well, you didn't get the full context of the full story. It, it's really not asking too much to allow fans the access for the full context not just the blurbs and the little blips. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. Thanks for subscribing and supporting. It means a lot. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you next time.